Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are in a different area. So I'm sitting on the floor because I'm sitting here with my MUA kit, my makeup artist kit. And I actually switched over to using a luggage. If you guys haven't watched my pack with me for traveling, you guys definitely should. I share a lot of tips on just like packing essentials. I talk about packing cubes, shoe bags, and all of that. But today we are focusing on my makeup artist kit. And I love my away luggage. This one is the pink one. I do have the larger version of it for traveling but this is the one that I dedicated for makeup because I feel like it's very feminine and when I look at it I remember that it's always my kit. Traveling to a client with a bunch of makeup it's a lot and you have to carry a lot because you just never know what you're getting yourself into and so when I was using bags like on my shoulder it just got so incredibly heavy and cumbersome to go upstairs like it's just too much for my shoulders and my back and switching over to a luggage was the best thing that I did. So the smaller ones like this one this is the carry-on. What's awesome about them is that they come with a portable charger which I love so you basically just pop them out has a little secret compartment here in the back and these power banks save my life I use them every day but especially when I'm going to do makeup because I actually bring a speaker with me and I'm always playing music I just feel like it sets the vibe and when it's time to go my uber if I didn't have this like I don't know where I would be when you have like let's say a mac travel bag there's only a certain amount of space for a certain amount of bags and types of bags but with something like this you could put your speaker or also what's really important for me is to be able to fit my cables so I'm actually filming with my ring light right now but normally I bring my ring light to my client's house just because you never know what lighting you're gonna get and it's always just better with better lighting. Literally before, I would have my ring light, my MAC travel bag, and my purse. Where with the luggage, you can just have this and your light, and everything will fit inside. So this one is a carry-on. They do have two different sizes for the carry-on. They have the carry-on and the bigger carry-on. Then they have the medium, and then they have the large. So let's say I'm doing a destination wedding. I would bring the large with me and bring more stuff. So it really just depends on your clientele. So let's go ahead and jump right into what's in my makeup artist travel kit. Before getting into it, I just wanted to demonstrate how awesome the wheels are. Super smooth. And this one actually came with this little cute sponge kind of to clean your luggage for like scuff marks and a World Traveler adapter kit if you are traveling. So the first pouch is actually from the MAC travel bag, but you can use a Zuka bag. And I'm just putting in my foundations. I'm using the Makeup Forever in this one and the NARS Sheer Glow. Those are like my favorites for my kit. I also love Estee Lauder Double Wear. For concealer, I switched over to the Too Faced Born This Way because it's very hydrating. A Clinique Gargantuan Golden, which I use for contour. For primers, I just added the Fenty one as well as the Benefit Professional and the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. For moisturizer, I love bringing Embry Lee's. Clearly, I need a new one. And I'm just zipping that up. I already knew what my client's skin tone was, so that's why I brought those shades. And then for my powders, I love MAC Studio Fix powders. They're just so full coverage and I love them for underneath the eyes. And I always, always bring MAC Dark Golden and MAC Give Me Sun. Those are just like my go-tos. As well as Bobbi Brown Golden Light and a Fenty Bronzer. I love the Fenty Bronzers as well. And that one is in Bajan Gyal. And then for some highlights, I just added some gold toned ones. You guys already know these are like my favorite products ever but i also like bringing some more of like a silver champagne shade highlight so i brought mirabella swirling pearl as well as the benefit new cookie highlighter for powder the one that i trust the most is the laura mercier translucent no flashback and i also forgot this highlight laura geller gilded honey so i love that these bags fit everything nicely but you can see here i also use zuka bags so these i got on amazon i'll have them listed down below there I just added the Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finishers, which are basically just toppers, a NARS Concealer, Inglot Gel Liner, which is a must in 77, MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I'll have everything listed down below. These are just like toppers from the beauty brand Kaja, and as well as some lip balm. Lip balm is so important. I love ones in a little pot. It's just easier to apply with a brush. A sharpener from Anastasia, Duo Lash Glue. I always use the strip on, like the brush on lash adhesives. And then for scissors, just these from Anastasia, my favorite lash tweezers from Velour. You can use any tweezers, but I really love lash tweezers specifically. And also, of course, disposable wands. I always, always carry my Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter stack. This is like holy, holy grail for me. And I really just use the two first shades, so I bring those with me. A lash curler from Surat, which is the best one for your clients because it's nice and wide. Some hand sanitizer. This is like my miscellaneous little bag. Some lotion, some hair clips, you know, just everything that you need um, to prep. Some gum, which is so important, and some perfume. So I feel like I'm just so prepared for anything and everything in here. 
You could also bring some bobby pins and safety pins. I feel like those always come in handy too. This other Zuka bag I use for my lips and this is like a bridal kind of kit. So I'm just putting in nudes. So I have my Fenty glosses, Patrick Ta, NYX London. I don't really use too many liquid lipsticks anymore, but I do still bring my Galactic one in Bashful, so long lasting. And I usually bring MAC Honey Love with me. That's like the perfect bridal lip. Just like an array of different nudes that I like to mix and make like a combination of. This little pouch is from Makeup Forever. I love it. So here we have L'Oreal Mascara. Three Makeup Forever pencils you can use for lips or eyes, which I love. And then we have some brow gel from Benefit as well as some Benefit brow pencils. And for mascara, for the bottom lashes, always, always MAC Extended Play and their eyeliner, which is also waterproof. I love, love, love MAC for their waterproof items. And then this little netted bag is from NYX, really inexpensive. I just put two beauty blenders in there, as well as a disposable cosmetic sponge you can use for baking. On the other side, we have the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I feel like is such an amazing palette for your kit. Honestly, it's like one of the best. It has a black, it has whites, it's just perfect. A Mayron foundation palette you can use for foundation, contour, or concealer. The Natasha Denona Biba palette, which has amazing quality, like the shimmers and the mattes are just awesome. This MAC palette that I did customize, we have Modern Mandarin, Peaches, and Desert Rose. I really just use those for the blushes. And this custom palette that I made with Anastasia matte eyeshadows. And I just threw in the Jackie Aina palette this day. It really just depends. Sometimes it's just like bringing one palette that has some nice, like cool colors in them and nice shimmers. In this little bag, I have a Mirror MAC Fix Plus. This is another setting spray from Lancome. These are the Sephora like brush wipes, which are good for like just emergency use. This is the Melanie Mills Rose Gold and a Caudalie spray. So I put all of those in there as well as the Morphe setting spray, which is my favorite. And for Body Glow, a Patrick Ta. Um, shimmering spray this is essential ben nye final seal i don't leave without that and then this little guy is just to put foundation on it's just like a little palette instead of using my hand the back of my hand a patrick ta fan you can use any fan it doesn't have to be that one i just like fanning down the setting spray so that it can dry nice and even and i don't even know where i got this little pouch but i love it this little bag it's just always been in my kit. And then I have some wipes. These are from Kirkland from Costco. You could also get them on walmart.com. For lashes here, I brought bridal lashes. So I have velour lashes, the fluff collection, as well as some lily lashes. I also love Ardell. I even love Beauty Supply Store lashes. Like It really just depends, but I honestly prefer lily lashes and velour just because I like the drama and I like the fluff. For my brush belt, I use a MAC one. I believe they don't even sell us anymore, which is weird, not even for pro members. So I am just packing up my brushes and I like to just separate them, face brushes, eye brushes. I like to have a little bit of everything just because, you know, different eye shapes, different brushes. And yes, all of the brushes are necessary. Worst case is not having enough brushes. Best case is just having clean brushes to go home with. So I like to overpack brushes. I just feel like it's better. And of course, I like bringing the best of the best. So we have Smith, we have Morphe, we have Mac. We just have a bunch. Real Techniques. Charlotte Tilbury, so that's my brush belt. If you can still get your hands on the MAC brush belt, I highly recommend it. I don't actually use it as a belt, I just lay it on the table. And then this little brush belt is just an extra empty one that I put my dirty brushes in. So when I go home, I can separate my dirty brushes from my clean brushes, my bow speaker, and I just put the wipes right back in. And that's pretty much my kit. And I would obviously add my ring light cable. So it fits so much more than just like a traditional MAC travel bag. I don't really like the Zuka bag. I just prefer this method. I just feel like it's the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys thought. Also, let me know what you guys carry in your kit if you're a makeup artist. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.